So Krishna consciousness is somewhat different in that it gives mankind the oldest spiritual scriptures on the entire planet. This can be historically, linguistically, philosophically proven. The Vedic scriptures are the oldest scriptures. And so therefore they help to make a person a better Christian, a better Muslim, a better Hindu. And when one becomes better, perfect, he no longer considers himself of any specific demarcated distinction. But he considers himself as a servant of God. When we look at the great scriptures of the world, we look at the Quran. Muhammad taught in 87 too, that of all the names, the most beautiful names belong to God, so call upon him by them. David taught in Psalms 113 that whoever calls on the name of God, he shall be saved. We find that in Romans it teaches that from the rising of the sun to the setting, one should call on God's name. Buddha taught in Amida Buddha that whoever calls on my name, he shall attain paradise. So this calling on God's name has tremendous effect in invoking the presence of the Lord, in invoking the mercy and the benediction of God. So we encourage you to come closer to find out how one can become in a state of consciousness where he is meditating, filling the Lord's presence every day. Where one is able to understand that this body is simply a garment. Just as we change clothes from day to day, that the body is simply being used by the soul. If we develop that genuine understanding, then there is no difficulty and you having a white coat, or he having a red coat, or me having a black coat, these distinctions no longer become such a dominant factor in one's life. Once in Nairobi, one uh, minister of the government came to visit us. And he said, Swamiji, so what can your society offer? So we were explaining about our Food for Life programs, how we're helping the poor, how we have schools, many, many projects that are going on all over the world. But I said, but let's be very immediate and specific. Let me take you on a small walk, very small temple. In five minutes, I said, so this boy is from Italy, this girl is from Spain, this person is from South Africa, white person, this white black person is from South Africa, this person is from America. Says, now you tell me one place in Na Nairobi, one place in Kenya where you can say you have these, this kind of variegatedness and people are working together in a loving spirit. And he immediately could understand due to his knowledge of tribal problems, racial problems, etc. So we are showing what is possible. And we are humbly and submissively willing to offer that to help to solve some of the seemingly unsolvable problems in this world. Thank you very much.